and girls, it's Mrs. Gadomski. So excited that you're joining me for a large group or carpet time. All right, so let's get going. What do we do first? Yep, Pledge of Allegiance. So come on over. There is our flag. Can you find your right hand? Stand up for me. All right, find your right hand. Very good, put it on your heart. All right, and when we do this, we're, we do not, we don't be, we are not silly. We have to be very serious when we do this. All right, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all very good you guys are getting really good at that here we go hello song hello 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 and how are you i'm fine i'm fine and i hope that you are too Good morning or good afternoon. All right, let's go through our class rules. Remember, these are the classroom rules, but they are also very good rules for you to follow at home. Rule number one, we are nice to everybody. We're nice with our words and with our bodies. Rule number two, we help keep our classroom clean or our house clean. So if you make a mess, what do you need to do? That's right, you need to pick it up. Rule number three, we need to play safely. We need to be safe. So when we're in the classroom, we need to be safe. And when we're outside, we need to be safe. And part of our safety this year is we have to wear our masks. That's right. We have to wear our mask this year this year when we're in our classroom. And you guys should also be wearing your mask when you are going outside of your house, maybe to the store with mom or dad or grandma or grandpa. So again, this keeps us safe, but it keeps other people safe too. And our last rule, rule number four, is we need to be good listeners. We need to listen to our teachers and to our adults. So those are our rules here at school, but they're also great rule, rules for home. Here we go, it's calendar time. What is the month called? Yep, you guys are so good. Everybody say August. Do it one more time with me, ready? August. Okay, we're gonna do the days of the week song. So let's see, yesterday we tapped. I'm wondering today if we could stop. Now I'm standing up, but I'm wondering if you guys could stand up when you do it this time. And we're gonna stomp our foot. Now I know you might not be able to see me do it, but you just know that I'm stomping my foot. Okay, here we go. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Stomp your foot. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Very good. You guys are doing a really good job with that. All right, so yesterday was Wednesday. Hmm, so we've gone Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's right, today is Thursday. Let me show you that word. Here it is, Thursday. And so now my calendar helper would come up and they would put it on the board and then they would tell us what the day is. So let's all say it together. Ready? Today is Thursday. Good job. So here is Thursday. We've got to come down to get that number up on our board, on our calendar. So we're gonna come down, stop. 
right there. Yesterday's number was 26, 27. Very good. So look right here. 27. What does it start with? Yep, a two. Everyone say two. And what's that number? Seven. Very good. A two and a seven. When we put them together, we say 27. All right, help me say the date from the very beginning at the top. August 27th, 2020. Very good. What is our color of the week and our shape of the week? Do you remember what this color is? Hmm, what is that called? Yes, it's called green. Very good. Very good. And here is our green turtle. And let's do it with no words. Very good. Do it one more time. Very good. Getting so good at that. And do you remember what this shape is called? Circle. Very good job. Everyone say it with me. Ready? Circle. Do I have a letter of the week? No, not yet. No letter here. Not starting our letters yet. Okay, here's a tough question. What season are we in? You got it. It's called summer. Do it with me. Summer. Very good. I am now going to do the weather. Now remember, the weather here could be different from the weather at your house. Mrs. Gadomski is making these videos earlier, so the weather might be a little bit different. But today at school, let's see. I think I'm going to choose from the four pictures, I'm going to choose hot because it is still very hot here. So there is hot. I'm gonna find Thursday. Let's see, here it is. I'm gonna put hot up. Now I need to use my eyes again. Hot, H-O-T, it starts with an H. Let's see if I can find that word. Let's see, is that an H? No, is that an H? Yep. See, very good, there it is. Now, what else am I gonna choose? Well, it is cloudy today. So I'm gonna pick cloudy. And look, cloudy starts with a C. So now I need to find, use my eyes and I'm gonna look for that C. Does that look like a C? No, I don't think so. Is that a C? Yep, I think that is. Let's see if it's the same. <gasps> yep, it's the same. All right, we're ready to read our weather report. I need your help. So let's get ready. <clears throat> Here we go. The weather today is hot, whoo, hot, and cloudy. I'm gonna teach you something new. This is how we're gonna do our cloudy. Make two C's and go like this. Put those clouds up in the sky. Very good, so let's do it again. Hot, whoo, and cloudy. Very good. Boys and girls, we are now done with our large group, our carpet time. I do want to show you, remind you how to sit when you're going to be at school, how you're going to sit on the carpet. So remember, we sit crisscross applesauce on the carpet in Ms. Skadomsky's room. And so you're going to cross your legs, put your hands in your lap, and that's how you're going to sit. Bye boys and girls, have a great day.